What's boys and girls? We watched Annihilation and we did a review for it. You can check that out in our channel. But this video is about a little theory that we kind of came up with. And by the way, some spoiler alerts. So if you haven't seen the movie, go watch that go movie. Go watch it. The movie is about self-destruction. It's about how these five women are affected by mm -hmm. the shimmer when they're inside the shimmer, right? Right. Now there's a scene where Cass tells um, Natalie Portman's character the backgrounds for all of the women. Right. Our theory is based on how these women die mm -hmm. in the shimmer. The first one was Cass. Cass. She dies from a bear attack. Mm. We find out. A part of her brain is taken and put into that bear. So when the bear opens its mouth and it kind of, you know, you can hear, like, it's not like a moaning, it's like a scream, like Cass's scream. Mm -hmm. So that's our theory. It was kind of like, okay, a piece of you was taken when your daughter died and like when you died in a piece of you. It's taken and put into that bear. Mm -hmm. The next person to die is Anya. Anya. Gina Rodriguez is fine self. <laughs> the next person to die is Anya with Gina Rodriguez is fine self. That's what I want to say. <laughs> but the way she dies is that she starts to come unwound oh, in her yeah. in her head. Paranoia. And paranoia. And paranoia comes from when you're addicted to drugs. There's certain drugs that have you sometimes hallucinating, but a lot of times gives you paranoia. Mm -hmm. And she started to think that these women were going against her. She right. started to not trust Natalie Portman's right. character. She said, hey, you you said Cass was killed by that bear, but we didn't actually see it. We no. took your word for it. And she ends up hearing, everyone hears the, the call from Cass, yeah. which she ends up hearing, which is like a hallucination in a way, or um, a paranoia in a way. And that's the yeah. reason that she goes out and looks for Cass, because mm -hmm. she still thinks Cass was alive. Yeah. She didn't believe Natalie Portman nope. was telling the truth. She ends up dying. She ends up dying. The next person Bye. to die is Tessa Thompson's character, Josie. Josie. Now Josie, had, like we said before, has always wanted to feel like she was alive. Mm -hmm. And the shimmer starts to affect her where she's starting to become like a plant. She's mm -hmm. starting to become um, the the people plants that we saw in the movie earlier. Kind of like one with the earth. Mm -hmm. So she always wanted to feel like she was alive and guess what? She's turning into a, a real life piece a of... A living organism. A living life. organism right. living in the shimmer. Mm -hmm. And that's how she dies. The next person dies is the Ventress. Ventress. Dr. Ventress. Dr. Ventress. We found out has cancer. She has cancer and her life is coming to an end, but it feels like she's looking to be reborn in a way. Mm. In the regular world, she would just die and that would be it. Yeah, no reincarnation. No reincarnation. Yeah. But she finds out in the lighthouse that after she dies, she becomes this alien technology, this alien energy or something. Right, yeah. And when Natalie Portman shoots the energy, it actually becomes the the gray metallic T-1000 looking thing. <laughs> and she that, shoots it and these things come out. Exactly. And they, they melt there and they but, mold there. I'm like, oh. But she dies and she's reborn. Right. And that's that's something that she was looking for. And it's definitely um, something that she, I feel like was her end goal was mm -hmm. to be, to see what would happen. Because she has no life to live on this regular normal earth anymore. Mm -hmm. But she is reborn and she continues to live through the, the shimmer. Yeah. And the last person to die is Natalie Portman's character. Natalie Portman, who we believe doesn't die but by the end you're like oh, oh snap that is an alien <laughs> that's not her so her self-destructive thing was that she was going to destroy a happy marriage right mm -hmm. yeah she she had a happy marriage with oscar isaac and she was in love with him he was in love with her but in the end we have these self-destructive feelings and she decided to self-destruct her marriage mm -hmm. in the end when the shimmer took her mm -hmm it returned her back to Oscar Isaac. And they're together again, yeah. albeit they're both aliens, but it's kind of an interesting <laughs> thing All right. that they are technically back together again in a new relationship. Right. And they're going off and starting a new thing, which is to destroy the entire world. But, <laughs> which we hope, we hope, we hope. <laughs> but it's very interesting that her self-destruction was the marriage. Yeah. And the Shimmer brought her back to Oscar Isaac, or a version of her and a version of him. So that's just our theory. It's a, a very, it's a thing that I thought of. Like, like you said, there's not a lot of wasted space and writing in movies. Right. 
they gave these characters a, a background for a reason. For a reason. And they, they talked about self-destruction so much for a reason. It's all about how this shimmer affects each individual person in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. Everyone could have died from a bear attack. Easily. It could have been them yeah. fighting off the bear the whole time. Oh, this is how exactly. everybody died. But Tessa Thompson dies in this way. Dr. Uh, Dr. Spencer dies, dies in this way. way. So I think this theory is something that we should start, you know, maybe considering a little bit. Let's start a whole, like, yes. internet community. A movement! This. Yes! Let's start a movement. The Annihilation Theory. Yes. Now I want Jeff Definitely. Vandermeer and Alex Garland to not to say a damn thing. No. <laughs> Never been to I'm gonna say to come here and explain <laughs> themselves, but this is the opposite of what you were I saying. I thought we wouldn't have the community. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, I love the community. <laughs> this is exactly what it is. Well, <laughs> see you later guys. There's no, there's no uh, Annihilation Theory no, anymore. No. So what do you guys think of this theory? If you guys have your own theories, please comment below and uh, talk to us. I mean, we left, me and him talked about this movie so much. Endlessly. We talked for Endlessly. about an hour. We had another podcast going in the background yeah. and we mirrored that podcast, which was about an hour long. So just saying. Didn't record though. Not at all. But it's fine. Well, that was our theory for Annihilation, Annihilation. on uh, Instagram. Instagram at Black and Yellow Movies, yes. the same exact name. Movie facts, trailer reviews, trailer reactions. Everything you yep. need to know about Black and Yellow Movies, plus a whole lot of independent and foreign films that we have enjoyed thoroughly throughout the last few years. So it is the best way to stay up to date on Black and Yellow Movies. And like us on Facebook, and we'll see you guys next time.